One more car. I'm finished with the car. I'm onto the hairbrush now. <laughs> Are you gonna pull hair out of it like Abby before? No, I already did that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're gonna do Legend of Carania, Jackie. That's yeah. what we said. Well, we we're not gonna do that. We actually you know what too. we're gonna do? Playing King's Quest Five, baby. Are we really? We are. It's back to King's <laughs> Quest. We said we were taking a short break. It's only and been two it took fucking two years. years. Let me go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new. I thought you were at least comment on the shirt. The shirt? Oh, 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 it's so true. <laughs> I said the whole yeah, thing. Oh, it's it's so it just goes completely over your head. Oh, I love it. <laughs> why, why, oh, do you, no. why, do you think, why do you think he unzipped the shirt? I wasn't, I wasn't looking at the shirt. I apologize. I got the whole yeah. bit. The whole <laughs> bit. Gone. Maybe if it's you just told, gone. Maybe if you told Alex not to give me ice cream first. Ice cream? She's referring to the ice cream bit. Oh, the was, ice cream bit from yesterday yes. last week? Yeah. Well, the fun fact is, when I ordered the shirt, they sent me the wrong size. Oh, no. And then when I said that, they said, just keep it. <laughs> so I have a second shirt. Jackie, this one's got your name written Are all you over it. Yep. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. I'm going to wear it now. Oh, Jackie's <laughs> going to wear it all the time. Including it's large, right but I assume that'll be fine. I, it'll be fine. <laughs> I didn't tell Alex I was doing that part. <laughs> I didn't know about the shirt. So, all I said to Alex the other day was, follow my lead. <laughs> but I kept the shirt under wraps. And then when I was picking up Miles before, he reached for the zipper. And I was just like, all right, good night. Okay, put Miles down. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that shirt was free, Jackie. It just happened to be part of this. And if you didn't get sick two weeks ago, I would have gotten fucked because the shirt wouldn't have been here in time <laughs> because they sent me the wrong one. <laughs> but then you got sick, and I'm like, this might actually work now. This is perfect. It all falls Miles, into place. close your eyes and go to sleep. Go to sleep, buddy boy. Jack and Diet, we can do this. <laughs> uh, I might need a Jack and Diet. You want the rest of this Diet Coke? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Use, <laughs> All right. Use the caffeine. <laughs> well. Don't worry, I actually have plenty to eat, so hopefully it won't be too easy to get me that drunk. But I'm not making promises. You were glug glugging <laughs> Jack into the thing, but it's like... Is that the face you were giving me? Because I look over and I see Alex's face and Alex is like this. <laughs> yeah. Listen, he's awake, so we're gonna take this and and not say anything. For the rules. Alright, for, for, for the rules. Um, we're gonna be playing the CD version, so we will have the voices for a first in a King's Quest game. Yeah! Because. Now, do you honest, know which version you played, Jackie? This um, one. Almost I'm certainly. I'm I think it was, one. yeah. And honestly, you have to play it because Cedric isn't nearly as annoying in text form. Mm hmm. Whereas in voice form, yeah, you no. really want to rip your hair out. So now, when we played Pokemon, by the way, I had a what do they call the who, the who, the owl ones with one leg? Hoot hoot. That it. So I got that hoot hoot, and I named it Cedric. And they were like, "Why'd you name it Cedric?" I was like, "Oh, you guys have got to play King's Quest." <laughs> Alex, there. you're the only one that's not wearing a cool shirt. Is my <laughs> is goat head shirt Bach, close enough? My goat and Bach <laughs> Festival 2016 shirt. And I, it fits you great, too. Perfect. See? And it's free. It's even better. <sighs> what do you say to Matt? I said thank you. Well, now you gotta say it again. <laughs> thank you, Matt. Welcome, Because apparently I'm a five-year-old child. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's doing he's it. Gonna say, <laughs> That's thanks, what Matt. Oh, I was like, thank you, Matt. <laughs> or, or Miles. Thank you, Poopy. Or you can be Miles. Thank you, Poopy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Actually, Miles, say thank you. When you say to him, okay, what do you say when you whenever you go, what do you say to Abby? He goes, oh, thank you, Abby. <laughs> like a deep, a deep breath, like he's about to, oh, thank you, Abby. <laughs> he's currently singing into the. Um, of course the he is. He's chuckling to himself too. All right. Oh, okay. I can get that. Miles, are you poopy? Miles, are you a poopy? No. Are you asleep? Uh huh. 
Okay, that's good to know. Miles, are you going to sleep? He's asleep. He's... He never answers me. He only answers <laughs> you. Oh, oh, you got no, it. No, he only answers you. I right. love you, Miles. Oh, good. That makes me feel a little better. Every day, my mom was like, wow, Miles just throws out those I love yous like crazy. I was like, yeah, I think it's just his way of, like, coping with feeling bad about something. That he'll go, I love you, Mommy. I love you, Mommy. Was that the Sierra Power? We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Absence makes the heart go oh, yonder. <laughs> certainly hasn't grown fonder. Now, you said you didn't hey. want to control this one, right? I had to change my mind. Okay. <laughs> I'll make you control at some point. This is basically how this is going. Well, you know what's nice about this is at least this time it's not me yelling into a microphone. Matt! Matt! Do this! <laughs> what are you talking about? The microphone's literally... Yeah, okay, but okay. you're in the room. Don't wait for me to respond! <laughs> Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. I mean, I want to skip it, but we shouldn't. You no, shouldn't. shouldn't. By the way, doesn't this look really cool, though? Like, like look yeah, at yeah. that! It looks better I than don't have a problem with the graphics. <laughs> Well, that's good to I'm know. Gonna, I'm going to put in both ear, earbuds so I can listen oh. in. Sound, the music will be in stereo. <gasps> oh, oh no. something's happening to the castle. This guy showed up just to witness it, too. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> it looks like he might be the one causing it. Alex, I absolutely love that, uh... Vaudevillian. <laughs> Can you keep a vaudevillian voice up the entire time? God, I would love that. No. <laughs> I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you. <laughs> Alright, here's old man. No, Graham. we don't need to impose further frustrations upon ourselves in this game. <laughs> I will say, I am looking forward to King's Quest VI. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. should be. You should be. Because Jane Jensen wrote that, who did Gabriel Knight. It's really good. So it and it's usually good. considered to be the best of the lot. It is. And this one is usually considered... Meh. The worst of the new era. <laughs> oh, the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, led by... So led by... Creature on my shirt. Oh, Cedric? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Take a good look usual, at him. As usual... At the end, when we're done with the game, I'll show off a thousand different versions of this game that have been released. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember everything. <laughs> it all just comes tumbling back. There it is! That's the voice! Do you? I saw it all, yes I did! You did? Well then, what happened? Um, it was the powerful and evil wizard Mordak who did it. Ooh, I just happened to be visiting with an old friend when I saw him materialize out of thin air. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. Well, don't stop now, go on. He conjured up a terrible whirlwind that swirled faster and faster around the castle. With another incantation, Mordak then caused the wind to draw the castle up into the sky and out of sight. Ooh, it was something to see, all right. Why? Why would this wizard Mordak... Why? Why? can help you. My employer also happens to be a wizard, which is why I recognized Mordak. This is the reason I can speak. Like Mordak, though, my employer is a very old wizard. His name Ooh. is Crispin Arthur, but we all call him Crispin for short. Crispin yep. Arthur? The problem is, you see... <laughs> can I have that written down? Whoop, 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 there he goes. Alright, bye. We need a modern version of this game where that's a ghost sprite instead of <laughs> <laughs> flying back up. He just goes off screen and the game continues from there. <laughs>
I'm not pulling a gecko malachek on this no, one, Alex. No, don't, don't make your own <laughs> no, custom centric sprite. No, please don't. Don't touch it. Look at him. I don't know. This doesn't sound as if it would work. Oh, sure it would. Kristen is a very qualified witch. Oh, my lord. Oh, I'm close. Oh, no. Is this Cedric having an orgasm? Is Cedric having an orgasm? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Response of right there? <laughs> Is it right there? Why? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting tired. How close are you? Oh, don't stop! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, heaven. he's coming! <laughs> oh God, stop it, guys! <laughs> I don't know if there's anything we can do here. It's ruin everything. <laughs> what is that stuff? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. <laughs> Most sperm swims. Mine flies. <laughs> it's all that extra fairy dust I've been keeping. That's what they call it. <laughs> By the way, I like how jacked old Graham is. PCP. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Second start of the right and straight on to morning. And that was the end of the game. <laughs> Just a little bit of ejaculate, and you're flying off into the sunset. <laughs> Where's that? Okay, please put that as a quote. <laughs> it's a good start for the stream. <laughs> I like imagining that Cedric was uh, somebody pr trying really hard to be a Monty Python. Didn't succeed, but they tried. The attempt was made. Here we go. Two. Yeah. Ah, one. There he is. Cedric, where have you been? I'm the Russian judge. <laughs> Well, this guy seems like an actual voice actor. What have we here? Mm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A bit clumsy, are you? Well, come on in the house and dry off. No sense sitting around like a wet dog. Cedric, go into the house and pour each of us a nice hot cup of tea. Oh, aye, aye, Kristen. Look how quickly he's going for an did old Cedric, man. Did Cedric call him Mister? No. Yes. Did he? I thought he said yep. yes, sir. No, yes, Mister. He said Master. The Society of Wizards has always taken a dim view of Mordak and his abuse of his power. Why he's even been put on suspension a few times. It never seems to do any good, though. Crispin. Why would Mordak want to take my family or castle? What did we ever do to him? <laughs> His performance in this. Mordak is a very It's like robot chicken. Cram? Yeah. Yeah. It's really bad. It is. It doesn't get better over time either. It's okay. He still puts Cedric under the table. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Enough from you, Cedric. <laughs> Fuck you, Cedric. <laughs> I don't know what I have that would be of much use to you. Most.
Up my dick. No, Cedric already used that. That was Cedric's dick. Oh. Wizard dick, clearly more powerful. <laughs> I don't think there's a single wizard with a big dick. Why do you say that? You don't have to get into the arcane arts if you've got a big dick. Yeah, but you can just go Abra Viagra. <laughs> Abra Vi I like Abra Viagra. It's not even my line, but we still <laughs> yeah. And then big dick. Okay, there's no wizard with a non-magically enhanced dick. Well, that's probably Every right. wizard immediately is just like, you know... Uh, Big chungus. I was gonna go, curly straw! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what am I eating now? What is that? That's an old piece of magical white snake I had left over from last year. White oh. snake! Wet yep, snake! Yep, yep. Here I go again on my own. I was like, thinking more JoJo's. <laughs> well, technically it's the same white snake. Here's my old wand. That, that, I don't what? Know what? What? I said because <laughs> the, jo the white snake in JoJo's, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure sure is a reference to white. It snake. is. Yes. Yeah. So it's the, so you guys did technically the same same thing. Winnie, if you want to come up, just come up. <laughs> don't stare at me from afar. I'm not your boy. But we get a wand. You go with <laughs> Show him the way. Ooh. Yes, you don't. Ooh, no, 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 you can stay, Cedric. I like the Miss Piggy there. Yeah, I was like, ooh, ooh me. Ooh, me. Ooh, me. <laughs> <laughs> All you've done for me. That's right. Hey, man, Oslo, how's it going? I'm glad someone's ready for it. Yeah, it's... it's... Oh, I suggest we visit the town first. <laughs> your majesty? Oh, boy. Please don't call me your majesty. Or, or talk at all. <laughs> I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. Oh, I'd be delighted to, Graham. Anyway, Graham? What was I talking about? Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies. It's at about half of our voice. I don't really want to turn it up much more than this. Nah, crank it. Yeah, no, gonna turn, I, you can turn the game. It's bad enough. <laughs> no, it's okay. Go ahead. It's not gonna be forever. Uh, the bottom isn't recording anything like that. Ugh. All right. The old wand doesn't seem to have any vitality left in it. Oh boy, that's what they say when you need Viagra. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. Doctor, Can please, you... his his wand just doesn't seem to have any vitality left in it. Can you, can you talk to Graham or uh, talk to Cedric? Cedric is too busy looking around and doesn't seem to be paying any attention. Is that a well over there? A small cellar door is located under the house. I like this grandpa voice. Well I remember it. The cottage. He just got married with a doctor. Thanks. For I'm glad that the, the game's back to doing the completely useless. <laughs> Descriptions. With the door. There's nothing there. Mario vs. Donkey Kong for no. Game Boy Base is actually a sick game. Yeah. Really good. Let's play with the well. If I just fall in this well, I'm just dumb. <laughs> There's lots of things you can do here. Curious. Graham gazes down into Crispin's well. Gonna piss into it. He's nothing of interest. Yeah, no. What are, what is this noise that we keep hearing? It's a drip. Drip. Do we see a drip somewhere? No. A you... tiny pond adds charm to Crispin's forested home. Pick up the flowers next to you. These? Or the one right. The one's right next to you. An unusual ornament decorates Crispin's front yard. Dang it. Crispin, being a wizard, it must have some magical significance which Graham could never understand. That Crispin's universe interpreted it is. But be careful, you might accidentally dream on the stars. You have any fucking clue what he just said? <laughs> universe. Interpret the reverse. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Try to peep on him. 
<laughs> I gotta see with this Viagra spell. Do you have to see that? Do you not want to, Jackie? <laughs> I can't say I do. Now we're hiding. So when the criminal pops out, make sure you draw gun oh. first before shooting. <laughs> oh, my police quest. <laughs> police quest rules. I enjoyed police quest. I did too. We did two Sierra games. We did yeah two Sierra games this year. Rent Rum was last year. Yeah, last year. Also, police quest was last year. Fuck me. <laughs> we did three Sierra this, games last year. This is the first Sierra game in this year. Yeah, Van Alzo, in case you can't tell, Hoops and Jackie are both wearing, oh no, a poisonous snake t shirts. <laughs> I'm sure you can't tell because the quality of that camera is not. I'm also scrunched up. Fantastic. <laughs> and we are quite far. Squint. Squint. We need to go back to the, the uh, round table setup one of these days. Yeah, I like the round table. I like the round table. It gave us an air of dignity that we clearly don't actually mm -hmm. have. <laughs> Yeah, we've 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 lost all of our credence. <laughs> See how the path goes to the east up into the mountains? That's the road to Mordak Castle. Okay, no, we're not going that way. Oh, there's a poisonous snake. Mm -hmm. What is that thing to your left? Is that like a little sign, the red dot, or is that a mushroom cap? A worn dirt path wanders through a thick wood, alive with the sounds of many creatures. As doing his Between worst Sam Elliott impression. It really is. <laughs> outline of a great mountain range. Okay, but I clicked on the fucking mushrooms. A worn Whenever I think of Sam yeah, Elliott, I mean the red thing next to your head. Whenever I think of Sam Elliott, I always think of uh, uh, hippie a Ron Swanson. Path mm -hmm. All right, let's go. I don't even look at the snake. You know, it's, it's a fucking snake. Yeah. The quaint little town of Serenia nestles at the base of a great snow-capped mountain range which rises sharply to the east. Oh yeah. That was one of the old Sierra games, Adventures in Serenia. Now we gotta throw it on the list. It's already on there. Oh, I don't think we're going to enjoy those old ones at all. No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's get through this first. Well, at least he moves like fucking molasses. <laughs> He's an old man now! Can you turn up his walking speed? Oh, great. There you go. Not, that's better. It's not now he's walking it. like he's wearing a really tight skirt. I'll just wait for you here. I had an actual running with a big dog once, and I feel much safer out here. Here's the thing. I knew I was going to hate this owl. It is beyond... Oh, I bad. knew. Really? I, I knew I wanna, that you were never going to like this. I smash his he's face. He's not so bad. Granted, you also really hate the cat from Dokopon. Oh, it's atrocious. Are you sure you don't want to talk to just start talking like this, do you? I think I'm more frustrated by like the random sound effects in the background. <laughs> While blocking an alleyway, a frustrated man fixes a broken wheel on his wagon. How goes it with you, good fellow? Not well, I'm afraid. This old wagon's always giving me trouble. Can I help you in any way? Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle it. All right, then. Good luck. <laughs> All right, then. Hey. F you. Is there a barrel to the left of there? I'm gonna need it. Quaint houses and little no. shops line up. Graham notices an old wooden barrel on the street corner. Inside the barrel, Graham sees an old rotting fish. Oh, yeah, we're taking that rotten fish. <laughs> Graham leans way down into the barrel and removes a few. Smelly old fish. Hell yeah. Phew. This smelly old fish is disgusting. The town is busy with people going about their daily chores. 
Oh God! May I help you? Come <laughs> it's, it's the Hulkster. <laughs> <laughs> Cloth. We're buying this thing this over here, material, right? I could make you yes! Shirts. Right, Alex? Yeah, I mean... There isn't a more beautiful piece of fabric to be found anywhere. With this, I could make you the finest trousers you've ever had. Well, what do you think? Well, right now I'm just looking. Thanks, anyway. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, I'm just here to help. <laughs> In the corner of the shop, draped casually over a tailor's form, Graham sees a thick fur-lined cloak. That for when we go up into the mountain, I guess? Sure. Let me help you with that. Oh, that cloak fits you perfectly. It perfectly. It's wonderful on you. Oh, you're so Let stylish. You, it will certainly keep you toasty warm during the coming winter. Let me know if you wish to buy it. I like how he's moving my cursor after each dialogue line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not wishing to be put through another speech about fine shirts and trousers, Graham wisely keeps his mouth shut. <laughs> At the back of the shop, Graham notices a dressing room in which a rude, finicky customer tries on many items of fine clothing. The young man is too busy with another customer to be bothered by Graham. I'm gonna, wait. I'm gonna wait for the fat man yeah, to not yeah. be busy so we can talk to him again. Or not again, but just talk to him. I want to talk to the fat man. Take a look at the specials on the wall. There? Left. You expect me to wear this? The busy tailor shop bustle. Right here. The busy tailor shop. Yeah, that was it. The rude customer doesn't care to talk to Graham. Alright, fuck off. Why don't you throw a smelly fish at him? <laughs> Slapping the fish. Why don't you save him first? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to have to live through any of that again. <laughs> Why? These trousers don't even fit. Okay. The tailor wouldn't find that suitable for his business. No fish. <laughs> I want to slap someone with the fish. There's a shiny on the road. Where Toys! The... Where? Right where the guy was fixing his wagon. Oh, Look at shit. that, Cedric left all of his eggs right there on the, on the roof. <laughs> That's where all of my spermies went. <laughs> the silver coin. It is but a common silver coin. Talk to that lady. The town is busy with quaint houses and little. No, 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 no. Come on in, look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. I like this town section. Yeah, there's a sled on the wall to the right. You know, Rose what you know why I like this the shipment of section? Wood hasn't come in yet. What should we do? Why? There's no if fucking you Cedric. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. I'll send you to the sawmill. Okay, Papa? There is a fish in the fishbowl. Yeah, my darling. Can I keep this doll? Really Are you like saying it. I should add ours to that? Or yeah. take one to add to our oh, God. collection no, of not fish yet, that's please. growing? <laughs> leave, leave that poor fish alone. For now. You can play mid her, but just be careful. Alright, Grandpa. I'll take care of her. Aww. Graham notices a strong little sled. Hanging on a side wall. A pet goldfish swims endlessly around in his fishbowl. The toy maker wouldn't find that suitable for his business. <laughs> this is a fine little toy shop you have here. You must be very proud. Dunk of fun. I've worked very hard at it over the yard. Did he just try to attempt German? Donkasen. Over the yards. Well, I do. 
Are most of these toys your creation? Yeah, most of them, but not all. Some my son made, some I bought, some I traded for. He's going in and out of like a German Norwegian accent and an American accent. Let me know if I can help you. Meanwhile, his son had a distinctly Indian accent. Thanks, Papa. A pretty little girl, who must be the toy maker's granddaughter, plays with a doll while grandfather looks on. The little girl is more interested in her doll. She pays no attention to Granny. Take the doll. You can't. The little You're girl seems happy. At The little girl That's a fine sled, isn't it? Any child would love to have it. Yes, I was just admiring the workmanship. Danke. If you'd like to buy it, let me know. We have the silver piece, but I don't want to spend it yet. Yeah. Nearly hidden at the end of the street sits a small shoe shop. Oh, there's a puppy. Take a look around if you want, but we don't oh, have pop. any shoes to sell you right now. We sold our last finished pair yesterday. Our business ain't doing so good anymore, and we're getting too old to keep trying. Those dang robots are taking over our jobs. There ain't nothing gerbs. you can do for gerbs. Short of buying us out. But like I said, if you want to look around. Gotta get those energy efficient light bulbs. Okay. Keep the cost okay. down. The weary old woman has no interest. The very old woman. Weary. Oh, the weary. Okay. Give the rotten fish to the dog. The dog doesn't even lift his head to take notice of it. The dogs but know when something's rotten. They don't want that. The dog lies down on the hard floor. Something's rotten on the shop. state of this fish. You don't have any shoes for sale, huh? That's right. No shoes at all. We're making a pair right now, but it'll take a while. We're not as fast as we used to be. It looks dead in the eyes. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> they... <laughs> Their business isn't doing well, but they've sold every shoe that they've ever made. Wearily hammers tiny nails yeah. in his shoe. Thumbs out about this shop. Doesn't even seem to notice Graham. She's probably more drag. Doesn't seem to. She's more drag. She's more, <laughs> she's more <laughs> Fucking solved it. <laughs> My God. Oh, a friend. He's he's an old man under a thrall. Under her thrall. Well, time to get the fuck out of here. Wait, is, this, is that it? Yep. Now we can take the other path. That was it? That was it for the whole town? That's the town. Keep looking. Go down. Look at the tree. The little tree. There you go. A small toy shop fronts the top. Hmm. A broken wagon. Use a broken wagon. The cart is too heavy for Graham to move by himself. Cedric, get your ass down here. Be useful. Hi, mister. How do you do? It's go time. I'm gonna click on every person, damn it. Put a morning to you, sir. How do you do? Okay, well, I did that. Fuck with the cow. Secure within a small pen, a spotted cow. I love the way you word that. Cud. Can you fuck with the cow? <laughs> Unfortunately, the cow doesn't have anything to say. Come on, Graham. Don't waste your time with that cow. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I want a cow. The quaint little town of Serenia. Nestles at the base. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you gotta fall in the water. No! The water. Off he goes out bad. to sea. Graham's swimming skills were no match for the mighty river. Classic hoops just falling straight off a cliff. <laughs> this wasn't even a cliff, Alex. It's like a foot. <laughs> yeah, it's a small little divot in the ground, effectively. It's a foot. Oh, God. Well, luckily we know there's nothing else to do in the town. Let's get out of here. We can pick up our gold. And we can leave. We might want to just check in again, but that's fine. Yeah, we'll go figure out what else we need to do. Okay. A wild river tumbles down from the eastern mountains and flows swiftly below the small town. Give Cedric the rotten fish. Oh no, you keep it, Graham. It's much too hard to fly and carry things at the same time. I'm a lazy little fuck, and I don't want your fish. <laughs> With a fine view of the rushing river, the bakehouse sits a bit out of town, along an old rutted road. Look at the sign. Too late. A fuck ton of firewood there. And how is your poor dear mother doing, William? Oh, she hasn't been doing too well lately. But my brother and I help out whenever we can. Thanks for asking, Amanda. What the fuck is that cat? Austin, keep your fingers yeah. out of that pie. The pies look lovely. I think I'll take one. Yes, they were just made fresh this morning. Here you go. Yes, this will be a fine dessert for our dinner tonight. Let's go home, Austin. What? What's going on? <laughs> What's the crown? What was that crown? It's just a loading thing. Get back to the crown! I want the crown! <laughs> the Baker brothers seem to have a pet. A large, mangy cat. <laughs> Give the cat the, uh... I can't! Here's the last of the pies. I love how creepy he says that. It's one of my favorites. Our bakehouse, traveler. Of course, all of our wares are wonderful. He looks like that guy that does the hypnosis in uh, Office Space. Oh, yeah. Take your time. Let me know when you're ready. Give that fish straight up to that kitty cat. The cat is much too lazy to care about it. Talk to him about the pie. What? Everything what people do you put in your pies? It's hard to decide what to buy. <laughs> Everybody has that problem, but what a problem to have! Those custard pies look most delicious. Yes, they're made from a recipe handed down from our dear mama and her mama before her. Hmm, it's mm. still hard to decide, though. Well, take your time. There's no hurry. Take a look at each pie. Delicious, mouth-watering custard pies lining the tables and countertop attract Graham's eyes and nose. Delicious, mouth-watering custard pie. Delicious mouth. What about in the back? Graham can see the bakehouse kitchen through the partially open Dutch door. Walk back there. Only the Baker brothers are allowed in the kitchen. Buy a pie. Sir, I would like to purchase one of your custard pies. These pies cost one silver coin each. I've got it right here. Here you go. I hope you enjoy your custard pie. Oh, I'm sure I will. Cedric, here, you want this fucking pie? Mmm, that was the best custard pie.
Spotify Graham has ever eaten. Beautiful. Look at your inventory. Um, yeah. All right. Reload. What are you talking about? You just ate the pie. Did what you gotta do. No, let's continue on. I just know since we're gonna have to reload from this point later. Yeah, I know. We might as you well. You might want to save it. No, no, I think we should play the game now. It's a good idea, Jackie. Let's save it now. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Did we? Do we need that pie for some puzzle later on? Yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be some sort of like dwarf or minotaur or, or like, like a chimera like a, a that's just like. Or something no, you're thinking like of six. I like custard. Or no prompt, actually. Right, exactly. Oh, sure I will. You know what's my favorite part? Six is the one I play the most. So when we do uh, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow, and all that shit, I, I'm so excited. Because I remember literally everything, down to, like, all the lines. And I'm so excited to play that one and just chuckle quietly in the corner. While you guys do it wrong. <laughs> I think six is more forgiving than There five. are two- uh, six? Uh, I said more forgiving. I didn't say forgiving. There's a difference. Uh, yeah. Let me go around the back! <laughs> oh, lord. That's what she said. Oh, he's so sad. There's All right, little, bye. There's a little birdie. Go Back talk to the, the dude. What a wonderful bluebird. This could almost make Graham happy again if it wasn't for his family. <laughs> uh, I forgot that that's line! That's a great line. I forgot! That's a great line, especially if you consider that his family is actually not gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, his family was in the castle. They're all gone. I know, but if you pretend like his family's not gone and he's just out for a stroll, very funny line. <laughs> Honestly, I get the pie just to see how long it If it wasn't Jackie for his family, what are you trying to say? Like, his family kicked him out? Right. If it he could always my... be happy if his family wasn't if it such were a fucking family, piece of shit. I'd be really happy. <laughs> I just wanted to see how long you were going to go before you were going to let us <laughs> with the pie. But Alex had to say something. <laughs> I mean, I was already, like, ready to say something, but I'm not allowed to help you. Yeah, but that's the one I knew. Uh, me, young it's man. the only puzzle I know in this game. You, oh, is it? Help but yes, that's why I've been making fun funny. of it. I've been making fun of it for 20 years. Okay, that's funny. Why, yes. As a matter of fact, there is. I've been searching everywhere James for Marsden. my fiance. <laughs> She's a beautiful princess. I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. Fetching blue eyes and smooth, creamy skin. Ew. Have you seen her anywhere about? No, sorry. I haven't seen anyone like that. <coughs> what I figured. No one has seen her. I bet that the witch who lives in the dark forest had something to do with her disappearance. I'll keep an eye out for her. If I see her, I'll let her know you're looking for her. I would appreciate that. Well, I guess I'd better get back to looking for her. I'm not ever going to find her just sitting around here. True. Thanks for your concern. Now, if we go right, does that connect us back to the snake road? Yes. Yeah. Call. Go left. Graham feels the eyes of many creatures upon him as he follows a meandering path through the thick wood. You also have to go left from the bakery. Oh, behind the bakery? Yeah. Bluebird followed us. Where? Bluebird, go back on that screen. When you left to the left, the bluebird also went. Not this time. An old grandfather gnome sits contentedly on an old stump <laughs> and smokes a large pipe while watching his grandson at play. Aww. Sitting on a stool in front of his house, a young gnome happily plays with an exquisite marionette. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. I was just noticing your son's marionette. It's very interesting. Where did you get it? It's grandson, not son. And I made it for him. Why do you care? 
I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's very well done. I like how defensive you got there. I just not. wanted to comment. If it could, the price would be very steep. I reckon you couldn't afford it. Now, leave me and my grandson be. Graham attempts to speak to the young gnome, but the boy seems to be very shy and doesn't answer. The young gnome is too bashful to respond. <laughs> doesn't want to fish. Why don't you give it to Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa, you want to... I don't take charity, young man. I got everything I need. Oh. Down. Hopefully this wraps back around to the bakery. Yeah, likely. Over here is probably the bakery. Yeah, go to the right. You want to take a note? No. The map? Oh, my no. cannolis over there. Oh, and so are the Holy cannoli. Points. Yeah, ogres. All right, you know what? I'm gonna finish my drink. No, finish. let's just use our brains. Let's ah! Remember where things are. Yeah, use your brain. It's pretty easy. Listen, when someone gets sick next week and we're not playing for like three, yeah. we're not gonna fucking remember. Alex. You know what's that the sucks. best part of this? I feel really bad, but that's true because of the way that the kids have been getting us sick so often. Yeah. Well, we'll figure it out. What is this place? Weary travelers can enter through the inn's front door. Look at the the swarthy hog. This is a side entrance of the quaint country inn. An old, uninteresting barn is located behind the country inn. Look in the haystack. Graham can see an unbreakable padlock on the barn door. A large haystack dominates the area in front of the barn. For the needle. What if it were a bone needle? Carefully, Graham searches through the haystack but doesn't see anything of importance. We'll be back there later. Yeah, I mean, sure. it's a needle in a haystack. Go in the side door? Not the front door. Yeah. The side door is locked. Front door it is. Ooh, I'll wait for you out here. I don't like that place. Oh my god! A dog? I was just trying to determine that too. It looks like a Fucking rat. Mm hmm. I think it's a pit bull. A flea bitten old dog lies asleep in the corner. At least it's flea bitten. Three rough looking men huddled over the water in serious <laughs> conversation. Since they're talking in such low tones, Graham can't quite. Oh, well, that was a good time as any. I got stories from this past weekend. Graham notices three rough looking men. Yeah, uh, visit my great uncle who's on his uh, deathbed. Oh, sorry. Uh, since they're talking in he had uh, leukemia. Graham can't quite hear what and they that wasn't what killed him. Oh. Uh, what killed him was when they said, um, you know, listen, if you, you know, we can we can keep your leukemia at bay, but if you get COVID, we can't guarantee anything. And then he went around maskless. Graham notices three <laughs> Just then, to make sure. And then he got COVID last July. And his health has been deteriorating. deteriorating since to the point where he has almost no muscle mass left. That's rough. So we visited him, uh, probably likely for the last time. Yeah. Saturday. And, you know, How was he doing? He's... I'm sorry. Jesus, Alex. <laughs> but no, but how, what, like... His, his mental faculties are all there. Okay. That's the word. Honestly, that's my biggest fear, because everybody's like, I am so afraid of getting Alzheimer's. I'm so afraid of getting dementia. Personally, I'm afraid of having everything in my mind perfectly fine, but my body sucks. My body's just breaking apart, deteriorating. That, I feel like, is... My grandmother was perfectly fine up in her head, was legally blind and legally deaf. And she was, but she was all there. She could yeah. still do all her crossword puzzles. She loved reading. She could barely see anything. I had to get her a Kindle so she could make the font this big. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's my biggest fear is, is getting old. I don't want to be past, like, 70, to be honest with you, because I don't want to get to that point where, like, I can't... I'm even trapped in my body. Like, that just fucking sucks. I'd no, rather... No, don't get me wrong. I know Alzheimer's is harder on your family, but the other way is harder on you. And I can't decide if at that point I'm going to end up being like a boomer, where I'm going to be like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Alex, 
You're taking care of her. Yeah, I go first, no. so she I'm, goes first. Yeah. Like whether that's by that's choice the deal we made. or we made that, yeah, we made that ten years ago. If I find out, if I find out later on, Alex has a terminal illness. I'm going first. And <laughs> no, I'm joking. I know you are, but so uh, you know, he's asking about my job. And I'm like, ah, you know, it's going well. You know, like you guys aren't into that crypto or anything, right? He's like, oh no, he's like, yeah, good. It's all a Ponzi scheme. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. He's like, and then that. The whole FTX thing, what a bunch of crooks. I'm like, yeah, you know, they're, trying mm -hmm. to, they're just funneling money to the Democrats. And then I was like, uh oh. Oh, oh boy. Uh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh. And that was the end of that line of conversation. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not going to argue with someone on their literal deathbed. Be like, okay, here's why. You're being an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Legitimately, uh, my grandmother, now that she lives with my parents, you know, I'm probably going to have to... Uh, Wednesday's going to be her birthday, so I'm going to go back Oh, yeah. Then. How's she doing? I mean, she's talking much slower than she was, which tells me how she's doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and she's definitely, like, not totally all there all the time, which is fine. Um, sure. But she's better off than most people, uh, you know. How old is she? She's, like, 83. Yeah. I think she's not as old as Graham was, no, she but definitely... she also didn't take care of herself very well. Yeah. Um, but she, uh, I remember, remember when we went down for the guns yep. and the car? And... Well, they were separate, separate trips. But oh, yes. they were separate trips. So it was when we went down for the car, because Dad wasn't there. So we went down for the car. We picked up the car while Mom took Abby back on the plane. And I remember as we were leaving, my grandmother was like... <laughs> yeah, you know, that Trump, I'm not a huge fan, but at least he's not a politician. It's just, and Alex and I looked at each other and went, well, we gotta take this car up to New Jersey, so uh, I guess Bye. we'll see you later. It's like, I'm not gonna sit here and argue with an 80-year-old woman. <laughs> I gotta get on the road. I was throwing up all night and all oh. morning. Yeah, it was really and bad. I, I felt have so to bad. Drive 18 hours. Well, here's the thing: is I offered to drive. I offered to drive the first half so that he could rest, and he was like, no, if I don't drive, I'm gonna throw up. Mm. So he did. He drove. I couldn't really sleep well in the car as usual, so. But she tried. I did try, but at some point I had to pull into a rest stop and take a nap. And Alex I know, woke up. Story, I know. And he was pissed. He was like, "We okay. could have been home." I was like, "Or we could have been dead. Like you could make a choice 17 here." Seventeen hours of me driving, and I just couldn't quite get that last hour. I could have done the last hour, but Jackie. It wasn't was... an hour. It was the last five hours. It was not. We pulled last... over in Delaware. It was not the last five. Yes, hours. it was. We pulled over in Delaware. So it was three. Either way. We're walking it back already. Let's see if I can... <laughs> I'm just saying. I was not too happy about waking up in that uh, rest. What makes you so. think I was happy about it? It was either that or we crashed the car. I know. It's just you were sleeping like the whole time. so I thought I wasn't. Were... Just because my eyes were closed doesn't mean I was sleeping. I know. We're not going to argue about it. Anyway. Your uncles. Yeah, other, so other that was Saturday. Friday. Is he he's still, still going? It's only been two days, yeah. Well, I'm just... Yeah, you said, for all I know... You said, you said that's not what killed him. I said, for all so I... Plus, you're that's, saying something killed him. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's true. And, there, and therefore, the Fox News. Hasn't and, gotten And yet. for all I know, he's been waiting to see you and then to go. So I mean, like, it could have been anything. So uh, Friday is. night, I forgot about something that apparently I bought tickets to in August. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I told Alex this. I was reminded the day before that, uh, oh, hey, Matt, you're, you're good for the uh, William Shatner <gasps> interview post uh, Wrath of Khan viewing on Friday, right? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'm in. How much do I owe you? He's like, you pay me in August. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. I still have no recollection of doing it. That's funny. Oh, my funny. God. And you can't even say you were drunk. <laughs> yeah, I have no excuse. I'm... <laughs> Just totally forgot. Oh, man. Anyway. So where did you see Rathacon? Uh, Count Basie Theater. That's okay. cool. Okay. I uh, unfortunately, it was a theatrical one. And as I said to Alex, or as I should say, Alex and I were discussing something. I don't know what we were discussing last week or the week before. But Alex is just like, Matt, no one gets more upset over aspect ratio than you. That's true. <laughs> yes, I sent you a meme. I'm That's not gonna lie. I, I think that was what did we what did we were watching the other day? We were just like, Coops would hate this. <laughs> I it was, but yes, oh. it comes up. It comes up multiple times. Yeah. How much you dislike aspect ratio? Right. <laughs> Fucking dicks. 
Anyway, Rathacon... You'd think it would bother me, the film student, but it really doesn't. Rathacon stretched vertically. Everyone was thin and tall, and I'm like... Mm, That's why they did it. I've been for two hours with this shit, and it's all... It's not focused well enough. That's the version Shatner wants people to see. Yeah, Shatner wants people to see where he's long and... He's tall and thin. Look at how handsome I was. Uh... Shatner said he never he hasn't seen I the was movie. just so good looking. Ever? No. Shatner's never seen the movie. Are you serious? Yeah. What the fuck? What, what, not even like he an hate, opening kind of thing? He's like, I hate watching myself act. That's, That's fair. fair. He's like, That's I can't fair. do it. I, every time I'm just like, ah, um, I did actors, this up, I did this, why did I do that way? What am I doing? I don't most like actors myself. can't stand it. He's I know like, like I, I haven't seen the movie. Legitimately, whenever I had to act for the film stuff in film school, I despised having to sit through the, the playback. I, I hated it. And then, um, yeah, he, he was, he got very serious at times, and, and really? very nonsensical at times. And then yeah, the, how old is he now? 91, and he's, he's the sharpest 91 you'll ever see in your life. Sure. Yeah. Um, he was, he was, he was spry, he was up and down, and walking all around the stage, 91, god damn. I'm sure he's got a personal trainer to keep I'm him. sure, but sign me up for that shit. Yeah, right, seriously. Right, right, If I... Like, I don't want to get to the point where I'm in my 90s if, if I'm not... going to be, like, falling apart. Right. That's what I'm that like, 90, if, right, I'm that 90, 90. if I'm that 90, I'm, 90, I'm totally fine. Yeah. If I'm fit for space 90. Ben, I, can, I know. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you. I got to tell you. So, there was a guy I saw, I just saw a fucking, it wasn't a TED Talk. It was a, a fucking something else where the guy was talking about how he found a, not a mushroom, but it was something where it, it's almost like the jellyfish where it goes backwards. Yeah. And it, it like your cells basically revert, mm -hmm. and so he was like, "We're trying to use that to create like you know treatments for things, and you know, but we also want to use it to like people they're in their 60s. Maybe it'll bring them back to when they were in their 40s, and people in their 40s bring them back to when they were in their 20s." It was like Bill that kind of thing. Nye. It oh, that's it. It was the, Bill Nye. It he was, was like, that "Yeah." Awful Bill Nye show from. Oh God, I gotta tell you, I'm not thrilled with that show for two reasons. I, I but, it but anyway, the, missing the theme song. Well, that too. Um, but, and it's funny, because Abby knows Bill Nye. She goes, Bill Nye's a science guy. Of course. Um, Bill, 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 yes. Bill. Um, but the guy, as he was explaining it, I was like, don't get me wrong, like, that sounds fucking, like, yeah, cool. It'll only be for rich people, of course. But if that's, if that's a thing that was, like, mass-produced, I'm not against it. I'm not entirely for it. But I'm not totally against it either. But as for the reason why I don't like Bill Nye's show, because <laughs> I did like it at I spit, sorry. I did like it at first. No one saw it, Jaggy. I did. <laughs> I did like it at first. I don't like how aggressive he gets to people. I understand hating people who are like, uh, global warming's a myth, blah, blah, blah. I understand hating that. He wouldn't have them on his show. I 100% accept that. That's good. He shouldn't have them on his show. There's no reason for that. But when he has somebody like, there was a person who was like, you know, they were into Zodiac stuff. Do I think Zodiacs are all... Well, no, of course not. Like, I'm not gonna follow the Zodiac to tell me like my future or anything like that. That's crap. However, most of those Zodiacs were based on certain parts of like, you know, the diet a person ate when they were pregnant. And that determined certain genetics. Like they're finding out now that that determined certain genetics that were switched on and off when they were born. And then there were certain things that like, if they were born in the winter, certain things that they were fed while they were breastfeeding and things affected how they were, you know, how they were raised basically later on. So in that sense, they're finding out that while it's not like a personality thing, there are certain things that people born at certain parts of the year back in the day, like, you know, before yeah. before well, everything was mass produced and put in the <laughs> and put in the supermarket. For duration. Yes. Effectively. And effectively. So they were like, you know, there are certain things that may have played like, played a factor in why those personalities were determined in that way. So while it's not foolproof, because that's ridiculous, there is some evidence to show that there may have been something that just like said like, oh, okay, so if you were born in July, you know, you were more likely to be like this. And it's like, okay, well, that's probably because of your mom having more, uh, or having less uh, leafy greens in the first trimester yeah. of a pregnancy kind of thing, you know? Um, but he was yelling at this guy for the Zodiac, and he was like, you think there are only 12 kinds of people in the whole world? And I wanted to be like, dude, like, for the longest time, the Myers-Briggs was the accepted form of psychological personality profiling, which was garbage, by the way. It was invented by a mom for her daughter. It's like, for the longest time, people accepted that there were 16. So you're really gonna yell at this guy who actually presented some factual, like, like, uh, uh, not saying that he, and 
not saying that he was totally right in it, but like he was basically like jumping down his throat and I was like, I understand how frustrated Bill Nye must be. I really do. He's dedicated his whole life to trying to make people feel like to try and make people aware and and woke and all that stuff. And he gets these people and I understand that, but dude, that doesn't mean that you become like an aggressive fucking leftist. <laughs> like, you know? Uh, I don't know. I'd like to see a show where Bill Nye just gets pissed at people. Which and if that was the name <laughs> but if that was the whole purpose of the show, great. Yes. But if the whole purpose of the show is Bill Nye to like educate. spreading yeah, spreading yeah. information Cool. Be chill about it, man. But like, if the whole thing was like Bill Nye, just like, chill out, Bill Nye. But 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 no. But here's the thing: if you chill, think, Bill. So it's it's Bill saves the world or something like that, right? So but yeah, if it was yeah. something like Bill fucks up, like Bill Bill yells at the world, then yes, give me that. Put people on that he hates. Have him yell at them. I'm all for that. I know exactly what I'm getting into with that. But it was just it was just the aggressiveness was just too much for me. Where I was just like, dude, come on. Like, yeah. I still because you know what it is. I still think of him from the fucking uh, uh, Exxon oh, Exxon ride in Disney. Do you remember that? No. The Universe of Energy. <laughs> no. Oh my the god. The Exxon Universe of Energy. Do you remember we went on that? Okay, so hang on. There's a story behind this. Well, especially since your father worked for them for so. So my long. dad worked for Exxon yeah, for 19 years. I'm aware. And when we went to Disney for the first time, and every time after that, until they let him go, um, because he didn't want to go to West Virginia, uh, and then they ended up using him later on as a consultant, consultant anyway. Um, my dad would go to the would go to that particular ride in Epcot, and say like, "Hey, I work for Exxon." He'd show his ID, and then we get to go wait in a VIP room where there's a fucking like merry-go-round, like a tiny little four horse merry-go-round in the corner, a fucking soda machine, like a fountain soda machine. We could sit there and have as much soda as we fucking wanted, watching TV in the air conditioning in fucking Florida. And then as soon as it's time to go, like, "Oh yeah, the, the, you can go now." We had first dibs on the benches in the back so we didn't have to sit on the fucking floor so that kind of shit so like that was like that kind of shit. we were like listen spoiled. Exxon, Exxon fucked up a whole lot but they get they got you that room so it's all, yeah. it legitimately, all that, I loved that ride though that was legitimately <laughs> besides the even without the room because even when he got let go we couldn't do that anymore that was always one of my favorite rides was like Ellen DeGeneres and Bill Nye like she's in jeopardy she goes she's having a dream yeah and you know who else is in it uh, Jamie Lee Curtis <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis is the fucking antagonist. Tony Curtis. What is it? Tony. No. No, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Tony Curtis. No, fuck you very much. <laughs> it's Ellen DeGeneres, and she's on, and she's having a dream where she's like, she heard that her one classmate was like doing fucking great and everything. She's like, oh, I'm so good queen ever. I haven't achieved anything. So then she has a dream about going on Jeopardy, where like, it's it's her, her classmate, and and. Uh, Albert Einstein, and Einstein can't answer shit because the other one keeps answering correctly in the first half. So when they have the break before, you know, before Double Jeopardy, Bill Nye uh, shows up in her dream because he's her neighbor. And Bill Nye shows up in the because dream, fact. of course, and he's like, "Ellen, what's wrong?" And she's like, "I just can't fucking win. This is my dream. Like, why can't I fucking win?" And he's like, "Everything's about energy. Like, all the questions are about energy." So he was like, why don't we just go learn about it? So like, you know, they go take through, you through the ride. So you go through the dinosaurs where you learn like when the dinosaurs, you know, that's how oil is, you know, it's leftover dinosaur goo. And like, you know, this is how, uh, <laughs> shut your hole. Leftover dinosaur goo, I like that line. <laughs> shut up. It was a fucking great ride. I know. They, go, they explain like how like, how wind energy has become a thing, like solar energy and all that other stuff. It's really cool. Yeah. And so at the end of it, you know, she's like, she goes through double jeopardy, she catches up, and they're tied. And then, of course, it's the last, uh... Final jeopardy. The final jeopardy. I think the question was, this is how many fucking times I went on this ride, by the way, because it's not there anymore. <laughs> I think the final question was, uh, how would we, uh, what is a form of, of, uh, infinite energy? And the one girl was like, you know, a Tommy Lee, or a Jamie Lee Curtis, you fucking screwed me with that Tommy Curtis shit. <laughs> Jamie Tony, Lee Curtis. Tony, Tony Curtis. Yeah, whatever. Ja Who fucking cares? Tommy Lee Curtis. Tommy Curtis. <laughs> Tommy Jamie Lee Curtis. Curtis. He, was, he was in Men in White. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis <laughs> doesn't say anything because she's like, you know, she has no answer. She's like, there is no, uh, there is no form of infinite energy or infinite power. And uh, Ellen says, that's not true. It's the human brain is technically true well, until we true. die but technically human energy would be would last forever so it was that whole thing but it was such a great miss, fucking ride it was such a great fucking ride and i i like that's what i think of when i think of bill nye i think of bill nye sounds great but i especially think of that ride 
I would end before Ellen DeGeneres was a fucking piece of shit. Right. So Bill Shatner. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So back back to the story. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been waiting to say that for so long. I'm so you sorry. Just, you didn't think it was going to keep going. I just did. I enjoyed the story, but I just... I just rolled. Go ahead. I apologize. Oh, yeah. I was telling a story. Oh. Jack did the story to tell you about Bill Nye. Now they We've been sitting in this fucking store. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's King's Quest Five, you know. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> there were a bunch of questions the audience could ask. One of them was from quote unquote Joe Piscopo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was bullshit. <laughs> well, but anyway, one of the questions like the, the interviewer guy sucked, but he was like, you know, uh, we got we got like ten different people ask this question: boxers or briefs? Really? And Shatner, he sat there, looked around. I go like, commando. And he just, he just turned to the audience and went, pens. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that was inte- they definitely set that joke. And I'm like, there. I'm like, it's funny, but it's definitely set up and almost oh. certainly wasn't submitted. That is funny. I enjoyed that very much. It depends. All right, I dig it. It was, it was good. It was also a Shatner delivery, you know. It yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, fuck the aspect ratio, but I mean, everything else is good about that day. No Gentlemen, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I think you did, Graham. Oh lord! Diana's bow ain't got massive. Her room. Hey boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What is this, the fucking 30s? Well, while you're settling that, I'm gonna What? What? Put this down. All I did was talk! <laughs> could not escape his bond. You got rubbed out. You got rubbed out. What? The innkeeper will soon put you All right. in misery. I'll be right back. I literally just he did talk! Say, he did say uh, that he didn't like that place. <laughs> he didn't like the town! Well, he doesn't no. like anything! He's fucking Cedric! He didn't say that he didn't Fuck like the me. town. He said he's not going to go into the town. He said he wasn't going to go buy the fucking pie. Buy that pie. No, oh, this is the third time I'm buying the pie now. Oh, I just get through this shit. Fuck off. Oh, fuck me. Fucking talk to the bartender. And it's just like, let's just fucking kidnap him and throw him in the basement. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Why did we decide to do this? Because we said we were gonna, and it's been a while. That's not a good enough reason. But that is the reason. At least I got this shirt out of it. <laughs> Even though... And all I got was this shirt. <laughs> Me. I played all the way through King's Quest 4 and all I got was this shit. Fuck. <laughs> so you're just heading left? Yes. I didn't. See, here's the thing. The, falling into the water was dumb. That was frustrating. Oh, Absolutely. Jesus Christ. Ooh. His hands. Colony of large ants parade up and down a huge anthill built amid some scrubby bushes. Well, there's only one thing to do now. Throw the fish at it. The ants aren't interested in it. It's Fuckers. a fish! They should be going wild for that. I was half expecting the fish to just like. I'm sorry, the ants to just like massacre me. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's racist, a little, too. That's a little insensitive. <laughs> Within the gypsy encampment, Graham notices a tall, burly man who keeps a suspicious eye on him and Cedric. A large ox, 
tied to the gypsy's wagon, peacefully munches on grass. A steaming pot of stew bubbles over a small campfire near the gypsy wagon. A gypsy wagon is encamped here at the edge of the wood. On the side of the wagon, the words fortune teller have been painted. You know what the only thing on my mind right now is? Georgia. That's funny, as I thought of the same damn joke. <laughs> Georgia. No. There's a fucking cinnamon roll over there. That I'm going to have to get at some point to soothe my... <laughs> I don't want to say nerves, because that's not what this is. Pain. Just straight up Just pain. fucking pain. to be the conversational sort. So I can't talk to him. What can I fucking do here? Hey, free Grim the fucking finds the huge beast completely uninteresting. Graham finds the huge beast. What do you mean you find the ox uninteresting? It's an ox. You can make oxtail soup. Mm, mm, mm. Ow, I, I got sticky bones. Oxtail soup. Oh, thank God. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. So I can't. What can I do here? Nothing. It seems like nothing. <gasps> You found the gypsy. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh! <laughs> I don't care where that one was. Well, there you are. I was just starting to get concerned. Don't worry about me, Cedric. I'm used to this kind of thing. There's only one thing I didn't try. That is not a gold coin. He wants a gold coin. How about a custard Sorry, I got my cannoli. Cannoli. Abby asked me too right before she went to bed. She's like, Mom, can I have some of your cannoli? And I went, ah, no. What a good mother. <laughs> look, she's getting two desserts tomorrow. She was like, Mommy, can I have dessert now? I was like, look, Miles is having a shit fit. I don't feel like dealing with it, and I don't think you do either. I was like, so how about tomorrow you have two desserts, so he gets one. She's like, ah! And I was like, yeah, there you go. But I'm going to have my fucking cannoli by myself. tree grows beside a small pond created from... Her tears in her branch like arms, she clutches. Oh, shit, it's Nick Seriotic. As a child would a cherished Sorry. toy. <laughs> Quit crying into it. <laughs> yes. Uh, man. I allowed myself no, one, everyone. I'll give it to you. you I can, allowed myself you one. You can have the one. Why, of course, I can. And now shut the fuck up, Matt. <laughs> yeah, and now you shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Everything's wrong, can't you tell? Yeah, this game. Hey! Really you barely even princess. started. Hey. Hey, it's the princess. I love myself more than one for the game. There you go. When a nasty old witch came along and was instantly charmed by my handsome prince, when he naturally refused to advance... No! No! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? And turned me into a tree. <laughs> what is happening tonight? Stole your heart? Yes. She turned my heart to gold and took it away with her. Golden heart. The only way I can become human again is to have my heart brought back. Now, all I have to cheer me up is my heart. It's quite magical, you know. It plays the sweetest quite magical, you know. I've ever heard. Now, please, leave me alone in my sorrow. <laughs> I will point out that Jackie said it hasn't been that long. I've died twice. And mm -hmm. <laughs> Jackie that has nothing to do with the game. The that has to do with you. I ate a pie. That has nothing to do with the game, it has to do with you. Oh yes, talking to the bartender has nothing to do with the game. Got if he it. said he doesn't like the look of the place, don't fucking talk to anybody. Again, he didn't like the town! I have to go into the town! The sign seems self-explanatory enough. <laughs> Enter at your own risk. The old log doesn't look interesting enough to bother with. Oh, give me the fucking log. Oh jeez. I could go that way. Fuck. You just didn't. Why'd you go across keep, the bridge? You just didn't Again? keep pushing it. Okay. So don't go down. Did you? And there's nothing in the log there. No. I don't have that many screens, honestly. Oh, let's, you let's gotta go, go. You gotta go left from left, left again. The inn, right? 
look, the bird. The bird goes in and out. Bird bath. You haven't gone left here, just south. Yeah, or just I north, right? south, yeah. Goodbye. Ooh, walk back to the bathroom. <laughs> Bye. Let's drop a save here. Well, at least this bear, we don't have to wander in and out of the house multiple times to hope that they're fucking <laughs> spawning what we need in their house. That was the worst of the puzzles. <laughs> I will. That was what King Quest three. Yes. Jackie, what a sticky bun. Sorry. Oh, what do you mean? Ooh, my cannoli. I got a cannoli. Why do you okay, think? I, so you defensive? think I'm, I'm gonna give you any when I told my daughter no? No, I'm not gonna. If I told my daughter no, then no one's fucking getting this cannoli. What's this motherfucker saying? I'm not to go out here. It's probably death. Don't oh, worry about me. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. You think the bear wants the Did fish? Did you try picking up the ants? <laughs> no. You think the... the ants don't seem to take kindly to uninvited trespassing. You think the bear likes the fish? Might as well give it a shot. Fuck it. I mean, Sarah, if you saw the clip from last week. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. You made that a clip? Well done. Great. Oh, shit. Is that actually gonna work? It's a bear, of course it's gonna work. Not necessarily. And there he goes. <coughs> oh Jesus Christ. I wish to thank you ever so much for saving our hide from the claws of that horrible bear. In return, I offer you a luscious honeycomb from our hide. Please feel free to retrieve one. I promise my bees won't harm you. I really thought you were going to offer herself for a second. He's married. I'm just a young southern beal. Beal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Graham bends down and picks up the large stick from the ground. I get killed because of this Graham shit. a hand into the beehive and retrieves a very sticky chunk of honeycomb. Wrapping it in a protective piece of cloth, he then pockets it. I'm just a beal. Honey. Honey drips at the edges of the foam chunk. It appears to be an average stick of wood. Can you combine the stick with the honey foam? See yeah, what there is an element of that. Not necessarily. Oh. Um, I imagine right is the end, so. Don't want to go fucking over there! Wait, go back over there? Don't worry. <laughs> Can you grab that thing on the ground there? That's the rock. It's not a rock. It's all a rock. It's a boulder. It's a boulder. <laughs> oh, okay. The scraggly bushes of the right as I ran. Land, taper off to a hot sandy desert. Get it? It's a rock, it's a ram. Can see mm -hmm. to, the west. Uh -huh. to the east, <laughs> you can see the sparse edge all right. of the Arrhenius wood. Can I just go kill myself? Yeah. I believe the proper pronunciation is what? I rat. You're dead. Too bad. Even the sting of such a small creature can prove deadly. They're a little nutty. I believe that's what they just. No, oh, no. A bully of a dog. Terrorizes the poor ants as he playfully digs at their large ant hill. Dick him. Ha! I'm the queen of the ants! <laughs> I like how the bee was really attractive and the queen ant is fucking an ant. <laughs> Why, certainly. Like, the, even the queen bee had breasts. <laughs> They were heaving. Anatomically correct. Yeah. <laughs> they were heaving breasts. They were. With the sweetheart neckline, so you could really see that cleave. I wish you would reconsider. But if you do not, in return for rescuing our home from that pretty bitten cur, 
I wish you luck. You are a help. If for chance you may ever need it. Thank you very much, King Antony. Cedric and I appreciate hey. your kind offer. We look forward to meeting you again. What do I get? What we don't get to see is that King Antony is dragging a, a wagon. Colony of large ants. The ants don't seem to take. Oh my! What do I get from this ship? You get the ability to have the ants help when you need the ants help. We need like an ant flute or something, or some way to summon the ants. Oh, he does look like Woody Allen. There's one thing Woody Allen, do Woody Allen does this ant doesn't do, though. Fuck's children. <laughs> I was like, I know what's coming. I'm just going to let Alex it's say it, though. Just, it's just fuck's kids. <laughs> uh, you're dead. Yeah. Yeah, not oh. yet. <laughs> I got two fucking screens now. Can you look at the uh... rocky cliff rise high above grave? It looks like the rock guy from a uh, never-ending the story. These hands. Looking to the right, like that. I can't wait for us to go far left on that floor. It just says, "And now it's you're too the far." Same background. Again, it's the same background. That one's not the same background. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, nope, different, because there was a six-pack here last time. Oh, okay, so they're using basically that one in the middle as the, the, the guide for everything else. Mm -hmm. The hot sun and choking sands there are taking their toll on Graham. He must drink, and <gasps> soon. He must drink. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Stop. Eat your pie. Pie is not the solution. Eat your pie and keep going. <laughs> no. <laughs> Eat your pie and keep going. <laughs> Graham has no desire to put the dirty honeycomb in his mouth. Just go die in more. No, matter how... no I'm just gonna restore. Oh, just... I want to see you choke on sand. You're not gonna choke on sand. He's just gonna dehydrate, Alex. And then right into the sand. Yeah. <sighs> he must drink. And how? He must drink. His withdrawal is kicking in. Mm. <gasps> Well, this is dumb enough that I'm probably going to die immediately. Yeah, it's a mirage. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Look, it's Petra. Small pool of water has formed Hell yeah. A space between the two You're going to restore. The fuck out of here with that. <laughs> I'm visiting fucking Petra, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's Petra Pig. <laughs> <laughs> that should have. That definitely should have been. That should Paris be on. Hilton. That should be on the the. the I was gonna say that should have been Paris Hilton's catchphrase. Oh God. <laughs> it's Petra Pig. What the fuck? I don't know. I didn't hear Hi, that. Get him. Watch out. Yeah! <laughs> Watch out. Oh no, the Mujahideen got you. <laughs> Mujahideen? <Yeah>. Really? <laughs> I didn't realize that this is the Living Daylights. <laughs> Or, 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 or Rambo 3. Fucking hell. <laughs> Better fucking move. Across the desert sand. <laughs> Get the fucking Petra. Take refuge in Petra. <laughs> Looming majestically before him, the massive temple door beckons tantalizingly to Graham. Open. <laughs> to me. Open. Caraway! The door won't open. Perhaps there's something missing. Did you add more Jack to that, Jack? I did. <laughs> I did. We can tell from the open caraway. It's, it's a good line. Thank you. It's from Aladdin 3. An ancient. I know. I know. Oh, the Prince of Thieves. Yes. I've seen it. You know, the second best Aladdin. Carved into the rocky cliff. Because <laughs> the second Aladdin movie is fucking garbage. Yeah, but it's still better than the live-action Aladdin with Will Smith as the genie. I 100% agree with that. That movie was real bad. I wanted to like that movie so bad, but... Oh God. The way that they added in the music just doesn't fucking work. The costuming was nice, though. Yeah, keep going left. See if you can come across the uh, camp.
Sarah, I, I feel like this stream is very par for the course so far. Except with a little bit of alcohol for Jackie. Yes. Well, we well also, I wasn't we were... going to drink, but then they surprised me with King's Quest, so... You were also cracking up at the early... At the beginning of the stream, I can't remember why. Like, yeah, who knows I why remember we, we were, were laughing up at the beginning of the stream. I remember we were laughing our, our faces off. But... Yeah, no clue why. Was it the shirt? Was it the shirts? Yeah, it was probably the shirt. Our magic. It was yeah. almost certain. Sarah, did you see the shirts? Sarah? Oh no, yeah! that's what it was. Because it was me impersonating Cedric coming. Oh yeah, that's right. That was really <laughs> that's good. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, now I, I was laughing at something really hard for yeah, no yeah. reason. Now I remember. <laughs> Jackie, you may explain the shirts to Sarah. Oh yeah. So who's got me this shirt? It's got Cedric on it, and it says, "Oh no, a poisonous snake." <laughs> Here, Jackie, stand up. I'll show him the shirt. I'm not gonna stand up, but I'll stretch it. Oh, well, that's okay. I was gonna bring the camera over. I'll, I'll bring the camera over. Oh you can, God! You can Any excuse it for it's... Alex to stick a camera in front of my boobs? <laughs> it doesn't happen often. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> it happens more often than I like. <laughs> yeah. How's that looking? Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> He's wearing one, too. Yeah, so apparently Hoops <laughs> got the wrong size, so I also got a shirt. <laughs> they, they, I bought the right one. They sent me the wrong oh, one. Oh, that was it. Okay. Yeah. So I got it for free. The the, the other, the, the large one that I just said, yeah, you just keep it. Mm -hmm. I work in customer service for socks. I have the same damn thing. Good. Good enough. Good enough, Mickey. Uh-oh. <laughs> Any reason for Alex to put a camera in front of my boobs? Well done, thank you, sir. The hot what are these? The, the Those are buns. cinnamon some cinnamon rolls. We're saving them for tomorrow for the kids for Valentine's oh, Day. I was just gonna eat one. You can have one if you want, oh, but good. we need to save at least two for the kids. Good enough for me. Okay. That was gonna be their their special Valentine's Day breakfast. You can take the one with the sprinkles on it because only one of them has sprinkles and I don't want them to fight over Perfect. it. Perfect. Alex, put the cinnamon bun with the sprinkles on a plate for our hoops. Jeeves! <laughs> bring me my bun! Excuse me, I'm just giving myself a Chobani <laughs> flip, okay? Oh, yeah, this Alex is going healthy. I had a cannoli and some uh, fucking two cups of Jack Chobani. and Coke and Alex is having <laughs> Chobani. <laughs> you know what my dad called Chobani? Uh, Chobani? Kaibo. <laughs> You know what? This is now unsurprising to me. Your father is turning into your grandfather with this pronunciation. I feel like that's just the natural progression in general. You know, do you know what, how he pronounces quinoa? Quinoa? Quinn. Quinonia. 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 I like how you didn't put it on, I like how you didn't put it on a plate like I asked you to. You no, just basically why did you bring the jack over? I thought I was the only one drinking. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> I was still on a fucking plate. But you drank so much yesterday. No. Go. Oh. <sighs> was it a shot glass? It yes, was. it was. It falls. It didn't break. I have so to go through those. Break. That's it's okay. I have to go through those anyway. I didn't I drink that much many. yesterday. You said. You literally told me when you were talking to me on the phone. Okay. Just you kept drinking. Right you had a good time. You drank a lot. You literally. Those were your verbatim words. Yeah, I but drank I could, a lot. I could have drank a lot more. I had like. Four or five beers and like three cups of the oh, vodka jungle juice thing. Don't. Uh -huh. Who made the jungle juice? Me. You? Mm -hmm. cost you. Well, me and you, me. Oh, okay. Um. Like, a majority of the jungle juice that I drank was after the third quarter. <laughs> That's when I was like, you know, oh, I welcome Oblivion now. <laughs> I'll just take it. Fucking Jalen Hurts dropping the football. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> I was in complete shock. Oh. oh no! Oh, I'm not going in there. Can't believe I'm going. 
Come on, Cedric. There might be something important in here. So, if you want to, I'll wait here. Frog. It seems to Graham that there is an unusually large number of toads in this forest. Oh yeah, he played a great game. He had an octopus. What? It was great. Is that an octopus? Galen Hurts. Okay, cool. I didn't get to see any of the games there. Uh, Alex uh, went to his brother's house because, you know, he's from Philly, which I was all for. Um, but Alex did not uh, set up, we don't have cable, so Alex did not set up the game for me at all, from his computer to the TV, and I wasn't going to fuck with his computer. So I, I, I found everything out uh, later. He ran in the touchdown and then ran in the two-pointer. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. That old witch caught Graham totally. Why are you restoring here at Patrick? Look at the ball pack. Why not restore pre Petra? Fine, I'll restore pre Petra. We saved in the desert, like right across the, at some of Woody Allen here. You looked in the water. A lovely little pond surrounds the base of a beautiful weeping willow tree. Let's head back to the town. What's wrong with you? That's salt water. You don't want to check out that forbidden area anymore? I mean, let's go back there. But you're right this time. Uh huh. That old witch. Back to the town. I imagine that's. Where we have to make shit happen. The magic happens. Unless, unless there was more that you could do. Where the magic happens. At the end, I'm sure there's more. It wasn't that good, Jackie. You were clearly you clearly drank a lot, apparently. <laughs> that was like, not a good line, Jackie. This is like I'm not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> no. Then again, I also laugh at a lot of things, so I refuse to believe that it's just the alcohol. It's certainly making it work. Oh, I'm sure it is. Better. What? Better. <laughs> Sorry, that's the word I'm looking for. Better. We should play Jones in the fast lane. <laughs> <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, no. Alex hates that game. Alex hates it because he sucks at. Mhm. Mm You're right. Challenge. All right, Alex. What do you want to do in the town? I don't know. Go to the toy store, maybe. of carving wood hasn't come in yet. What should we do? If it's not in by tomorrow, I'll send you to the sawmill. Okay, Papa? Okay, Papa? Yeah, my darling. Or maybe we just maybe we just wander the desert more. See if there's anything else in there. There's clearly the oasis, right? That's at, where Petra. So maybe there's other stuff in other screens. That's what I was trying to look for. All right, Grandpa. When you were up getting Jack and Bun. <laughs> Let's re okay, let's restore then to the desert. I'm, just I'm pretty sure the reason you got the jack is because you were afraid I was going to make another drink. Incorrect. From across the desert. Let's just head straight south. Hold on. That's a good idea. Nope. Even though it was like turned on the cursor lock for the window. Yeah. Because Sierra is very notorious for making it a one pixel border at the screen edge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go straight down. Let's see if I go up again. Okay. 
Okay. I did go straight down. No, no, I did what go is... one to the. Go right back up. Before. Go back up and drink from the oasis again. I'm wondering if it's like a purse greens type thing. Ah, life. I don't like this high tinny noise happening constantly though. Straight down. Yeah. Arabian Nines! <laughs> like Arabian Moons! <laughs> Why is there always this, like, yeah. field of death in these King's Quest games? Because it's funny. It's just, it doesn't it... go away, by the way. There's I definitely no... just clicked through the screen of Ram's oh, getting... Oh god, he's getting parched. So that was one screen after that. Two. Too late. Graham collapses and dies of extreme Vultures. thirst in the hot desert sun. If only he could have. I didn't realize you're from New York, Jackie. Vultures. <laughs> for a drink, Graham. All right, let's restore, and we'll re let's restore at Woody Allen Ant. Woody Allen. Go as far south as you can. Stepping out here is going to end up getting us killed by a scorpion, right? No, it was oh, here and then no. one Okay, so go left one. Watch out, there's scorpions in the desert. And then just start going south from there. <laughs> what if I go one south and then one to the right? You'll probably get killed by a scorpion. Okay, maybe not, that's true. All right. See if there's anything we recognize. I hope I'm in more desert. Nope. Too bad. Anything down, left, and down as far as I can? Yeah, down, left, down as far as you can. No, I didn't want to turn the speed on the other games, but I gotta say, thank God we fucking did in this game. Oh, if we were crawling through oh this? Oh my God. You're gonna want to do it in the next one, too. No, Alexander's a... Not as, not as high, but you you are gonna want to Alexander's go walking fast. speed's okay in six. Oh, no, it's not. Not at For the start. Me, People okay. raise up... I, I used to raise it up at least three quarters of the way. You tell me when you want me to stop, change direction, or... That was oh, start going left now. You go. We're gonna die in the next turn. I'm thinking we go straight. Graham collapses and dies of extreme thirst in the hot desert sun. I'm thinking we go straight left until it gives us the thing like get yourself an oasis and then go, go down. Drink? Gotta be one of those combinations. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. We found Petra. I'm not sure there's anything else in the desert. Maybe with a map there might be something in the desert. Try it. Just go down one, and then go left. What is it, like four screens until you start to... I haven't counted that much yet. Okay, so go left from here. I want fucking owl on a spit. <laughs> All right, one in the desert. Two. Three. Start going down. 
from we, here. If we do three. Four. Okay. Five. Okay, we're not thirsty yet. Is this just to get six? Son and choking fan are taking down, I guess. Jackie, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. We're I know honest. you don't know what the fuck you're doing. It's okay. Alex was saying the other day, what did you say? I forget. I was like, I'm going to go take a shower. You take care of yourself. I can't oh, take care me. of myself. What is that? Oh, well, Graham's hot, thirsty body is irresistibly drawn to it. Ooh, Graham's hot, thirsty body. <laughs> <laughs> it's all those thirsty bitches. Uh. <laughs> well, <laughs> there is water there. That's wonderful. <laughs> Anything in the bottom of that ah, water thing? Life giving water, nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. A rope and water basket sits near a small well. All around him, Graham sees nothing. A small well. Graham's hot, thirsty body is irresistibly drawn. All around him, Graham sees. All right, that seems to be it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep myself a little note here. A rope and water basket. <clears throat> Shall I continue walking somewhere else? Hold on. Save after we save it over after we've drank. Um, just gonna open up like a sheets. <coughs> How many times have you been to sheets out in uh, Pennsylvania? <coughs> they're not. There's not many in she Pennsylvania. Oh, the really? I thought there were. No, that's further south. Gotcha. <laughs> they're pretty good. They're not amazing. So it's not Wawa. Uh, that was amazing. They got a lot more variety than Wawa. Um, okay, well, this is taking a long time to update, so fuck it. Let's go. <sighs> I don't know. Up one, left one, up one, left one. We'll just do like a little. Chum, 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 chum. Why is this one here? Right, we're. Uh, hold on. Let me. We got really... I don't even know how we got here. Can I make a new key, please? No? Can I make a new one? King Graham, heavy of heart, searches far and wide for his beloved family, who've been stolen by the evil wizard Mordek. Evil wizard. <laughs> that one was pretty bad, though. Hey, I got Alex to go in with me. That's you all that mattered. Talking it's a song, of course. He's gonna go in with you. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm just gonna do is just a the drink. map over this. He's not thirsty at the point distribution thing. Yeah. Our Marvel League. What? what are you doing? I'm making myself a map in Google Sheets. What 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 does that do Marvel League? Well, I couldn't open up a new sheet from my phone for some reason. I'm removing the rankings from our previous Marvel League from an old sheet. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna make the map in Excel. Yes, that's that's valid. That's that's totally valid to King's Quest. That's what we're playing right now, by the way. I'm making a map, Jackie. That's super. He's, he's yeah. erasing that. Sure. I'm putting the map in. That's it's very valid of you. That's the excuse for it. Yep, that's what it is, Jackie. Um, so we went what? Left, three, and then down. I don't fucking know. Or I guess we let, went left four from the B. Because it's what? What's It's B, Ant, Gypsy, right? <laughs> yes, B, Ant, Gypsy. 
And if you went, I think if we go six to the left, six or seven to the left of Gypsy is the Oasis, or is Petra. No, I, I think it's say. eight to the left, right? Is it? No, because eight was instant death. No, because we oh, walked on Oh, you think eight to Petra's okay, but eight, if there's no water source, is death. Yeah, possibly. Maybe. Because it was Gypsy and D, and there's nothing south of the D. Scorpion. Sorry, that was Gypsy, <laughs> you're right here. I figured you wouldn't want Fleetwood Mac Gypsy Jack. I don't. So I'm not doing you're that. You're correct on that. So the question is just, I mean, we can keep wandering, right? <coughs> Forty days and forty nights, King Bam wandered through the desert, finding nothing but sand. There was no was yeast. Sand. No yeast at all. You're going what? Just straight east? West. west. East? I'm going west. <laughs> How many trains have you gone? I don't know. Super helpful. Well, if I find something, then it might make sense. But if I don't find anything, then who cares? <clears throat> that was six, I think. Sure. Nope. Yep, score 23. The flaming campfire makes the oppressive heat of the desert even worse. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. All right, Graham, you had enough. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any activity within the smaller tent. Two tents sit silently in the desert, apparently deserted for the moment. Assorted odds and ends clutter the inside of this small tent. Assorted odds. Assorted. Assorted. Assorted odds. Assorted odds. You're in the bandit tent. I'm in the small one. Right. An intruder. Cool. That wasn't a very Great. smart Let's restore from back here. <laughs> okay, so he did that in the tent? Well, I went to the last one, yeah. Okay. Can you look in the window of the tent? Doesn't seem to be anything there. Assorted odds and can't fuck with the pole. I wanted to see Graham pole dance. <laughs> Wrong game. I'm sorry, I guess that's <laughs> plus nine. Let's head out to the right and just keep going up. <clears throat> Trying to get my map correct here. Can't go up from here, Alex. That's why I'm saying go out to the right one. Straight up. We nearly died in King's Quest 3 in the desert. Remember that? That's true. 
Do you remember how we escaped the desert? No. I do. I don't remember how you escaped the desert. Remember, Alex? Nope. I realized that the map... Okay, so you went right one and then how many up? I don't know. I'm not keeping track. I thought you were. No. <laughs> Alex, that was the whole fucking point of you getting rid of the other note. For fuck's sake. Wow. Okay. Well, we're at another oasis. We can save here. Of the gun. I suppose. <laughs> We're just now lost deep in this <laughs> desert. Uh, if my map is right, ish, we should be able to go right to the desert again, and then up to the oasis. So you think right one, up one, up a couple. Which oasis? The bucket? The, the temple oasis. Yeah, I just, I'm trying to make sure that we're mapped out here. So Alright, so I'm gonna go to the right one, mm -hmm. and then up until I can find the temple. Yeah. I feel like we haven't really accomplished a lot tonight. <laughs> We have points. <laughs> 23? Well, we still have a half an hour to go. Would well, you not even. I'm sorry. Yeah. Where the temple is. We have about 20 right. minutes to go. Unless you want to play, like, uh... Oh, yeah. Family Feud or something. Uh, I'd say not the feud, but maybe something else. Yeah, we can do that. We've been doing a lot of feud a lot. Feud is the can best Can you stand one, behind though. the fountain without going oh. into Petra? I mean, I'm not, we're not doing electric boogaloo. <laughs> no, no, I wanted you to come on the line. I don't know enough about Petra to properly make a pun about electric boogaloo. <laughs> there we go. From across the desert sands, Graham can hear the sound of approaching hoofbeats. Oh, oh shit. Fuck yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I love watching how proud you guys get. Well, it makes no sense. If we went up, they still would have gone up. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> the solution makes zero sense. What did they do? Not a fucking clue. They said open sesame. Did they not? And... No. Reload. We can watch that. From across the desert. In one pixel. Open sesame. But he knocked with a big staff. You really seem to do a lot more there. Alright, well, let's try to go knock four times. Open sesame! The temple door won't open. Perhaps there's something missing. Heavy the staff. Oh. Let's go back to the bandit camp. Guide me there? Yes, yeah, so you should be able to go left two from here and then straight down. You'll hit the next oasis. Then you go left one and then down again. You should come across. Oh. We can save over Petra 2 the last last we said. <clears throat> so two left, straight down to the oasis. Exactly. 
Cool. All right. For my own curiosity, just cut totally right from here. Save and then go straight right. Nectar of the gods. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get killed by the rock? People's elbow? No. Scorpion <laughs> cake. Sun-bleached skeleton lies in the sand of the hot, dry desert. What happened? Who can say? But it makes Graham uneasy <coughs> more or less. Uneasily, Graham reaches down and removes the old shoe from the desert sand. Graham can't do much to help the poor man now, Look at the and shoe. vice versa. Graham. The worn old shoe is cracked and dry from the desert sun. Hey, we can... Sorry, Sarah posted something in the Discord. I was responding. Yeah, let's just keep cutting right. We might die. <laughs> Should be on the same axis as the bee right now. That's the sacrifice I think I'm we willing to make. I think we, <laughs> might be, I think we might be one short. I think we're below the bee. No. One, two, three. So if we went straight down here, it would be the oasis. Right. What the fuck is the music? Too late. Oh, we're dying Brave because we moved far from the other oasis. In the hot desert sun. So, if only he was the warning this time. No. Dying? Fuck this game. Um, but you can go left. Uh, back to... That should be... Well, back to right. You gonna save the game as this time? I did not. George Harrison. The <laughs> Why? Well, he wrote Old Brown Shoe, didn't he? You know what's funny? You still haven't seen Wag the Dog. No. Oh. You would have made a Wag the Dog joke there if you were thinking that. And that's... Oh, shit, you're right. And that's actually Willie Nelson. <laughs> yeah. Where would you like my show? Uh, so we can... I'm wondering if you can go left and then straight down, and that'll take you out from behind the bandit camp. This was down one screen. Yep. Two. God, the owl and those Tootsie Roll co Pops commercials are better than Cedric. Mm. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What? That guy just drunkenly passed out on the ground. This is a real George Harrison party. <laughs> What's the orgy password? Orgy. <laughs> What's that, uh, what was that video? Where the grandkids looked at the grandparents' calendar and it said orgy on it? Oh, yeah. Order, Graham quickly searches him, but doesn't find anything of importance. Okay. Life-giving water. Like, let me get water off. Okay, go in the mini tent. Maybe somebody's passed out over there, like that guy passed out. <laughs> See, now, like, if this is what we were supposed to do, there's no indication of that. Oh, there's the, uh... Bath. Graham should avoid the bandit at all costs. No, don't hit that. I was Take afraid you're gonna care step to be on very him. Quiet. Graham reaches out and takes the staff into his possession. Okay. Who are you? A spy! Gotta cut to the mm. right. Oh, stab to death. Oh, God, guys. 
Don't forget, your, don't forget to drink your water. The large. <laughs> large. Now, <laughs> oh, can I have like a teaspoon added to here? Sure. It's mine and Jackie's favorite uh, Monty Python sketch. The large. It's a uh, identifying the trees from pictures. Large. The large. I am honestly one of the reasons why I love it so much is because when we were playing Boulder Dash with Alex's dad, Paul, way way back in the day, I think it was like the third year that we were together. He. <laughs> We were trying to find, like, you know at Boulder Dash, if you roll a letter, you have to, like, name things on that card based on whatever number or card it is or whatever. And it was... No, not in that. That's a different game. This that's one... Boulder that's Dash. Boulder Dash. That's real Boulder Dash. There's two Boulder Dashes. No, the other is Bo Bobo Boulder Dash. Oh, okay. Well, that's what the one we were doing. So then, um, we were coming up with words for that particular letter, and one of them was tree, and none of us could that's think of one. Very... And then Paul sits there and goes, I can't believe you two. I was so... I I'm so disappointed. He goes... The larch. Taking care. So go to the right as hard as you can. Go around there. Okay. All right. So now we should be able to go right one. Bandit would notice if the camel was disturbed. Disturbing the horses. Disturbing the horse. Disturbing the horse. Let's just walk back up to the temple. Beautiful harem girl. Belly dances for the merrymaking bandits within the larger tent. An intruder. <laughs> ah, I just wanted to dance and party now, with you. <laughs> Okay. I hope that shoe's not fucking important. Why? Because it's it was just in the middle of the desert. I'm sure it is. <laughs> this is Sierra, Alex. What do you mean? Of course it's fucking important. Just like you can't eat the fucking pie because you gotta throw it at some creature later on in the game with no prompting. I like how uh, you're not supposed to be hinting at anything. I know what you do with the pie. Do you, Alex? We all fucking know do? the pie the puzzle! Pie, the pie is a notorious puzzle, Jackie. It is very notorious in the adventure game community Life of being a non-sequitur. of the gods, Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. You gotta make sure you buy and don't eat or use that pie anywhere else. So that later you can fucking Benny Hill your way out of a situation. Right. And it's it's the second most infamous Sierra puzzle. And the most infamous is in Gabriel Knight 3. Oh, really? Yes. Which I'm not going to talk about. Because <sighs> okay. I know the puzzle. I'm just, and When we get to that part of the game, I'm just going to hand the mouse slash keyboard off. The goat is Broken Sword. Also infamous, but for different reasons. Also, the goat's really not that bad. I don't know well, why. There's also putting the saddle on the uh, snake. That's dumb. That's, but we that was that dumb. Easily. There's the monkey wrench. I, d I never minded the monkey wrench. I figured that out with an 11-year-old. The monkey wrench I don't like because it doesn't Life translate well. Water. Yes. I don't like pun puzzles. It, yeah, it doesn't work outside of English. I agree. Yeah. The cans... Jackie liked the cans! I did. Jackie liked the cans so much we now have our own... Why can is still up there. It's still up the there. I will say, you guys made me think that it was going to be really awful, and it really wasn't that bad. Open sesame! You safe? No. Oh no! The staff broke. There's a thing on the ground there. Uh, we're a diamond in the rough, baby. Old piece we... Yeah. Bending down, Graham hurriedly picked up the gold coins on the temple floor. Got the lamp, too. 
Hurry quickly, Graham grabs the old brass bottle. But hurry. Cheer up, Graham. At least you can practice your game of tiddlywinks. That's not bad. Tiddlywinks. All right, go fast. So just pick up immediately, yeah. Bending down. Quickly, Graham. That was close. The staff is broken and is of no use anymore. Not the jewels. They're jewels, Julie. This is an old jewels. Brass bottle. It is a shiny gold coin. I don't Jew care about. I don't care about jewels, Gordy. I just want to suck your cock. <laughs> why do you look at me for that? Why do you always? Why do you, whenever you mention <laughs> sucking cock, right. every single time you mention anything about sucking cock, you always no, look no, at oh, me. Because it's because it's a reference to a. Uh, What's it called? Freddy got fingered. Freddy got fingered. Yeah, I know, but you oh, anytime you mention any kind of joke like that, you look at me like because, it's supposed to like. Because I know you're gonna get frustrated and disappointed in me. I don't <laughs> fucking care, man. I'll suck your own cock. That's... <sighs> uh, what other frustrating puzzles are there? Um. <laughs> what? Thanks. Oh my God, Seraph, come on. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I wasn't even thinking about quotes, but yeah, those are, <laughs> those are very quote worthy. Um, what other terrible puzzles have we had? Uh, the King's Quest Three nut. Oh, that nut was awful. The, the porridge. Porridge is really bad. Nut was bad. Anything in Sam and Max games? No. I can't remember any that were like so stupid that I was pissed. Oh, the clock. Oh, get rid of the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, yeah, the cuckoo clock. That was real bad. That was really, really bad. So the gold coin, we're bringing that to the gypsy. Don't worry. Shut up. <laughs> so did you watch any of Rihanna's performance? No, no, no. I saw her come out and I'm like, yeah, I don't need to see. Did you see her on the Smash Brothers stage? I saw the memes. Yeah. Those are really, those are really good ones. Yeah, it looks like she's standing on Big Battlefield. I mean, it is, but... Do we want to do this? Or do we... Uh, it's up to Jackie. Yeah, I mean, let's just talk to him. We can do, um... We're we... here. Card shark or something. I'm not for a card shark. I suppose I could do that. Do we want to do the... Eh, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's... I mean, we finally made progress. We have things to do. You guys did a lot people. more today, considering what... I didn't even know we were playing this. But I wasn't expecting you to get this far. So well done. Hey, give that man a gold coin. You may see Madame Mushka now. Ooh, I'm Madame, sorry. Madame I'm sorry. Mushka. This cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information or clues to complete this. Okay, game. next time. I'm not fucking sitting there to do shit now. No, we gotta do the Mushka. <laughs> no, watch, we... watch the Mushka cartoon. <laughs> I don't wanna watch the Mushka. Watch the Mushka. Out the Tish fucking computer. That doesn't mean anything. I wanna watch the Mushka you now. Really... While it's fresh in my mind. Oh, please. It means nothing. <laughs> well, it's fresh in your mind. Mushka hoops. <laughs> I know. I know you just wanna say Mushka. <laughs> Miska Mushka? Yeah. Come closer. Sit down. I will tell you your fortune. Already I can tell that you are on a quest of great urgency. We will see what we can find out for you. Look, Kingdom. Look into the crystal ball. Look, Mananin. Look what I have for you. Take a good look at what you did to my brother, Alexander. Be 
because I knew he's doomed to spend the rest of his days as a cat and there's nothing I can do about it. But you can do something about it. Since you're the one that did this to him, you're the only one who can send him back. Who's Manana? <laughs> Alexander! Manana was the bad My guy. son! I don't know how, Mordek. I'm not a wizard. I just happened to stumble across a magic spell that accidentally turned your brother into a cat. I didn't mean it. Please believe me, Mordek. I don't know how to turn him back into a wizard. It's that also not sense. his voice from for the next game. Yeah, that is are holding out on me, little man. You're taking advantage little of my little man. Behavior, but not for long. If I don't get a change of tune from you soon, I'll push your luck, little man. man. Starting with your dear mother. <laughs> Remember what I said. I'll only give you a little more time to decide before your family becomes cat poop. That is all. Cat poop. But I see that your mission is very dangerous indeed. I will give you something to help you. Yes, where is it? It is a magic amulet. Amulet. It where will is this? protect you against all but the most powerful magic. That's how we get through the frog Good section now. Man. Be careful. That border is a bad one. Thank you, Madam Mush. Yes. Cool. What's the name of uh Yeah, I wanna save. Right, of course. What what is the name of uh the the bad guy in Ace Ventura? Finkel. Finkel. Finkel Einhorn. Finkel is Einhorn. <laughs> More dick. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll cut it there and do a switch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Horn. All right, do you want? Oh, we can do the wipeout. That'll get all three of us in at least. Wipeout. We could do that. No, do card sharks. Feeling card sharks. By the way, Abby was watching Wipeout with us. The other Wipeout. Oh. The the MXC style. We wipeout. thought she'd like because she loves the floor is lava. So we were like, you know, Abby's like the floor is lava, but instead the floor is water, <laughs> and. She, uh, I can't tell you how many times she went, oh, ow! Yeah, oh, she, they're not gonna make it. She liked Wipeout, she likes the initial phase with, like, the big bouncing ball things. Mm -hmm. And then when it got to, like, you know, the big obstacle course or the jumping over the The last one ball, she wasn't a fan she of. She was like, I don't care about this. I gotta say, though, the whole time she was like, I'm rooting for the really tall guy, because I, I think that he should win. I was like, why, because he's tall? She goes, yeah, he has an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> She ain't wrong. Oh god. Thank god this game was made the year I was born. <laughs> <laughs> 